Installation takes place after bedding zone preparation. Pipe sizes DN150 to DN600 can be easily cut anywhere along the pipe length, and the same socket system can be used. DN750 and DN900 pipes have a geometrically different spigot end, so if they need to be cut to length, couplings may be required for jointing. Cutting through PP compared to concrete pipe is significantly easier. All connections to structures, houses and other fittings should be installed after the bedding zone and prior to site support backfill. When it comes to jointing, Storm Pro pipes have a simple and effective rubber ring joint system which is easy to assemble, watertight and protects against tree root intrusion. Please be aware of the correct rubber ring configuration dependent on the pipe size. For pipe sizes DN150 to DN600, install the rubber ring by stretching it over the spigot so that it sits between the first and second corrugations from pipe spigot end. DN750 and DN900 pipes install two rubber rings, one in the valley between the first and second corrugations and one in the adjacent valley between the second and third corrugations from the spigot end. Ensure rubber rings are evenly fitted by running fingers around the full circumference of the pipe. Apply a generous quantity of Vinodex jointing lubricant to the inside of the receiving socket. Avoid getting lubricant under the rubber ring valley as that can introduce contaminants to the joint or become displaced during jointing. Insert the leading edge of the spigot into the receiving socket. It is essential that pipes are in a straight line before attempting to make the joint. Double check that the ring and spigot are free from any grit. Do not apply jointing force directly to the socket. Insert a short stub of pipe into the socket. The short stub can be an offcut, 50 mm longer than the socket and can be reused. Additionally, you can screw a piece of timber across the face to assist with force. A rubber ring is not to be used on the insertion stub. Push the pipe home until the spigot end comes into contact with the inner wall of the socket. A leverage tool such as a crowbar is generally sufficient for Storm Pro pipes up to 375mm nominal diameter. Where applying a jointing force is not practical, consideration should be given to the use of come-along or winch and rope devices. Other mechanical methods may also be used, such as pushing the pipe together with a bucket head for larger sizes. However, caution should be taken for all methods to ensure the socket end is protected by using a short cutoff stub insert. Please note, the jointing force required increases with the nominal diameter of the pipe. Allowing for adequate fall as per velocity and discharge tables in the Vinodex Storm Pro catalogue or as recommended by consultant engineers. Storm Pro pipes may generally be connected to rigid structures such as pits, head walls and end walls, both precast and cast in situ. This image shows a typical entry or exit to a concrete structure. As you start from the pit entry, the spigot will always be the first point to connect, with the installation of the pipe usually going upstream. 